Hi and welcome back to Finders Beepers History Seekers. Now we normally have to be quiet, this time we pretty much have to be silent. The effort it's just taken for one, you to get us in this building, which was crazy. I thought you were going to fall on your bloody head. Um, and me with my broken ribs to get over a tent. That's not good. That means somebody's here. If you heard, but the security already know we're here. We've been in, we've been here for two hours. We've actually been in this place about 30 seconds before security came. I know this is the worst lighting and the worst filming I've ever done. But my god, this is tense. It's, it's a bit scary, this, isn't it? a lot of torch lights. Yeah. Because they'll know that we're in here, even though they do anyway. Yeah. Well, we think they do. We might, they might have been bluffing us to make us come out. Yeah. But I think what they might have done is, the alarms have gone off. Gone yeah. off quite a few times. There's one way we've, in. We've scarpered. Yeah. They've come anyway. They've shown the torches and come out quite just in case we are. Just in case we're here. But yeah, there's no just more torches. Torch no more torches flashing around out there at the moment, but they might be waiting for coppers to come and someone with a, like a key for access or something. Just never know. Let's carry on anyway. I really want to show you all this massive equipment, but it's really hard without a massive torch. But I can sort of show you. I don't know what they, they're like big hoppers, these, I think, or like storage bits. There's some stairs up here. Grant. I'll have a quick look up here. This is fucking freaky. As fuck. I know, like I said before, it's not the best viewing ever but sometimes it's the experience and the risk i'll catch you up at top right we're outside now that's the moon it's going to be really hard to show you these red dots are one of the big towers and you can't see anything over there without me putting my torch on i just can't do it because i will be seen i'm so high up come back to you when I can show you something. Right. We're currently heading along a metal bridge about 50 or 60 feet in the air. that earlier on we're really really high up at the moment and i mean really high up it's so hard i can't look i can't even show you there's light in front of me there but i can't even show you i have to point directly at the bright light but it sort of gives you an idea where we are well uh, we'll see where else we can get we're heading back down off the roof I really wish I could have showed you a little bit better where we were. But it's so, so hard not being caught. Not being caught and trying to 
see where you're fucking going. It's not possible. Impossible, isn't it? It is. This is so nervy at the moment because we don't know where we're going to. Right, guys, we've thought, fuck it. Let's just do it. Let's just look around as much as we can. Try not to get caught. But if we do, we do. So, look at this lot in here. Ash dispensing vessel. Precip dust pump. Well, yeah, I reckon this place would probably cause quite a lot of dust. What you found? Is it to outside? Better not go anywhere near that. I don't want torch shining through. Now we've been right up above this. A lot higher than this as well. What's this? It's Avaganda. Outlet open. Is it all electrics? Don't you be turning fucking electrics on. <laughs> Override. Right. Lucas head pole. Is it Lucas head or is it weak? It might be. I'm not I'm not fucking drinking piss. No chance. I think I've done well enough to get in here. Let alone anything else. What is this? That's like some sort of filter or something in here, that bit. Do you reckon? That filter's all crap out. Yeah. So, yeah, coal, coal fired. Yeah, not not many left now, is there? They're going one by one. Not many pits left, is there? Exactly. I think this. I think this is the one at Rossington. Right it's, right it's all to do with the size of them. I think, I think there's some smaller ones, isn't there? Yeah. But there's no massive it's ones. Like China doing cheap yeah. Stuff, it? Knock off coal. <laughs> Knock off coal. <laughs> Counterfeit coal. Fucking Let's get round this place before we get caught. Is that outside? I just, look, there's some big fucking ladders, but I think it's just a top of these like hopper things, innit? But that's like a big gas thing, innit? You know, like when you get the little ones for camping? It's yeah. like a big version of that, innit? Massive. Gas to get it going, isn't there? Blow it in to get coal going. Yeah, but that's a fucking massive gas bill, isn't it? I know they produce yeah. the energy here, I'm only... I'm not going to say it. Oh, my God. They're doing an open day here anyway. Um, on the 30th and 31st of Feb. So, so you should be doing that while we come here for them. <laughs> we should just go for open day. Yeah. Yeah. 30th, 30th and 31st of Feb. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he still gets it, does he? No, <laughs> fucking dickhead. What's happened here? Is this like the hole for pigeons to fucking get sucked into? Pigeon shit. There's all pigeon shit, but then there's like an hole with feathers round it. But where do we go from here now? We've been up, we've walked through. I don't know where to go next. Oh, he's out. We're not going out, we've only just fucking got in. So what do we do? We can't do any more, we? We'll have to try and find another way into a different building. But I think that's up again. I think we've got to go up again. Or maybe into that back corner where we first came in. Oh. Yeah, let's go up there, but I'm gonna turn the torch off while we walk up here, I think. Right, you can just about see the edges of the cooling towers. The security's just around that corner there. We got in down that direction. So I'm guessing that's where the security car was. But I don't know where we go from here. I've no clue. And he's behind me. I can't really show him because I need to look where I'm walking. Right, I'm gonna come turn it off again. Right, 
Okay, so we're even higher up now, next to the cooling towers. We were down, two floors down from where we were before. This is just so shit that I can't show you anything. It's too dark and I really want to get my big torch out. But literally everybody in the world would see where we were. Right, I'm going to give you, try and give you a quick blast. Andy's got the torch and he's going to shine it over there just to show you where we are. It's going to have to be really quick. Ready? Ready. Right. So there's the big tower. These are all the buildings we're at. Go off, turn it off, turn it off. Right, so we've just now made our way into another small area. I just don't know what any of these things are, but they're made in Michigan, in America. Main air blower. Oh, it's just the it's the air filtration system or something. But we've been wandering around for absolutely ages, haven't we? Too long. Mine are up and down, up and down the door here, Andy. And oh, you just go straight down to ladders. Yeah, look, air heaters, main air blowers. Oh. oh yeah, yeah. Could I place an order for delivery? Yeah, come out two uh, margaritas, please. Fourteen. Margaritas. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's power station. Yeah. Well, right. I can't Pretty keep long. that in. I can't say where we are. Can I? Forty-five minutes. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell! Coppers are bringing it. Right. We've now made our way into an absolutely fucking enormous place. This is huge, isn't it? Don't mind having contract for putting these tiles on. Oh, Bloody hell, that would have took a while, wouldn't it? But yeah, this is this. I think is where I've seen photos. And look, there's a, there's a picture of Grant on wall. That's a very very good likeness. Fuck yeah. Right, so we've now got to make our way around this place. Look at some of these machines. I wish I knew what they were for. That's a feeder. Feeder, not for you. <laughs> ah! That was my fucking elbow, not my head. Oh yeah, coal feeder. What is this? We've just walked into a metal wall this way it's just really unbelievable the amount of metal these places have i was just thinking that amount of tonnage you've got yeah like just each thing like that is a massive hopper all the way from the roof all the way down and it must be hundreds of tons if not more yeah now it's got a smell in it now i was telling andy earlier on my dad actually worked in here. Now, not actually in the power station, but he did a lot of the welding, because my dad was a welder. And uh, he was telling me he was right up in the tops of the building, in like big these big tubes like this, look, inside, welding them together. He said it was really dangerous, but it was back in the, I'm guessing either 70s or 80s, maybe 90s. And it were, uh, obviously, health and safety wasn't quite the same as it is today. Bloody hell, this place goes on for miles. So yeah, unit three boiler, 40 inch front. I've known a few women like that. Right, I'll catch up with them and I'll come back to you. Right, so, I've come into here, I'm guessing that's, Electric meter, we saying, we think, like a big fucking electric meter. God knows. No idea. What's it? Go out to the other side. Right. I don't know what that is. I don't. Oh, fuel injected calibration rig. What? What? Explain to me what that means. I don't know. It's for calibrating fuel injectors. <laughs> oh God! Don't make me laugh. It hurts so much. God, no, Oil couplings, oil burner documents, 
I'm guessing all that stuff's gone anyway, it's all been taken out. Yeah. Oh. Well, you're not taking it, Grant. Imagine trying to shift it. <laughs> you can carry it out. Like, away at all. Man of your stature shouldn't have a problem. Oh, yeah. Just look at it. I've not even got torch on full because I don't want to create too much attention. But it's just crazy. Absolutely crazy, this place. I just, just noticed by doing this, I've got a massive big black line across my head. I'm like some sort of tribesman. It goes down as well. I don't. It drops right down, down there. Oh, look, you got to see my beautiful hazel eyes then. Don't they look lovely in this light? Anyway, I'll stop being a weirdo now. Catch up with him. Be sure to subscribe and press that bell icon for all the latest updates. Circuit fault. I just, I don't know how. I suppose you learn your trade and you learn what things are for and you'd have your own specific job. I just don't know how they do it. I ain't got a clue. I know about computers. I know about editing. I know how to sell stuff. But when it comes to things like this, not a clue. Right, so I've come up a level. I have totally lost them two. I have no clue where they are at all. Can't even hear them moving about. Don't know. I'll have a wander around up here and have a look. See how high up I can get. Anyone that's interested, yes, my ribs are still killing. Absolutely banging. And anyone that didn't watch last week's video that doesn't know, I broke my ribs. Um, I think as far as I'm aware, I've broke two at the front and one at the back. So, not really very good. These, you're coming with wrong person here. You should be with Andy, because he knows what he's on about when it comes to machinery. I just don't. I just know it's big pieces of metal that make stuff work. Let's see how high up we are. Let's turn this torch up a bit. Not too bad yet. Got a long way to go up there. I'll come back to you in a minute. Right, I've come up two more floors from where we were last time and we've got a multitude of pipes and Andy's favourite, a dead pigeon. I'd love to be able to see where he was and drop it on his head from above. That'd be hilarious. I am still very wary of being loud. I don't look like I can get very much further up here. Unless I duck down. You've got to remember, it's bloody going to hurt this. Oh. Oh. I don't know if there's any point. I don't think there's anything good under there. Oh, Jesus. Uh. Now, quick story for you. I'll turn you around and tell you. So, after I broke my rib last week, or ribs last week. The day after, I got in the bath and had a really nice soak, thought, oh, this is the best thing for me. And I was in the house all by myself. So I got in the bath at round about eight o'clock and it was half past 10 before I managed to drag myself out of the bath. I got totally stuck. 
I couldn't put any weight on my arms and I ended up just trapped in the bath. I actually was contemplating sleeping in there. That's how bad it had become. Really, really bad. I ended up doing a little bit like, if you know anything about um, high jump, I did like the Fosbury flop. So I leaned back out of the bath and went out backwards and landed in a big wet fat mess on the floor. Not good. Right, I'm gonna try and find them. I have no idea where they've gone. Right, I think I'm nearly at the top. There's just no noise up here, it's so quiet. Now you can't even see how far up I am because there's floor, look, there's a floor there, just below. Look at this. This is inside, or oh, like the entrance to one of those hoppers. I ain't climbing up inside that because I'll fall down and be stuck in there forever and ever in a day. A bit worried because although I don't get scared in these places it's not really advisable to be on your own because if you do something like I've shouted Andy and Grant on numerous occasions I don't know if you can hear this floor look at this that's not even that's not the bottom that's not even the bottom but yeah I've shouted them quietly quiet shouts I've still not yet got their attention. I have no idea where they are. Right, so the video just stopped because Andy rang me to see where I was. He, him and Gran are back on the first floor, or on the bottom floor, and I'm still going up. And look at this. It goes up and up. This is probably the seventh or eighth floor I've been on. Oh, and it's changed in here a little bit more of a big open area now. Oh, it's huge. I can't even show you the end. It just goes on and on and look. Stairs all the way up. Crazy, I'm gonna go up right to the top. I think that must be the top there, surely. And then I'm going back down to find him. things. It's massive. Just trying to turn the torch up with my nose. There we go. That's better. Some of these things up here. Wow. Look at the size of that. De aerator. De aerator. Is that right? Oh my God, it goes up there. Surely not. This is just, this is beyond crazy. Oh, it's like a massive tank, look. I do apologize about the noise. It's all the pigeon shite on the floor. Oh, it just goes on forever and ever. I'm in shock. I really am in shock. Right, just giving you an idea again. So that big tank I was just talking to you about, that's down there. So we'd come up about seven or eight floors then. We're going up again and again. I just don't, I didn't think from the outside this building looked as big as this. Right, I think I finally, apart from a little tiny bit up there, might be at the top. I don't know what this tank is, it's huge. You've got all the gas pipes. Absolutely fucked. It's hard to breathe as it is. But yeah, these are the windows at the top of the building. We saw these. Oh, you know what? I want to try and show you out that window. Just a minute. Now I was going to climb over and show you out that window, but I ain't risking that drop. That is crazy. I'll try and show you without the torch on, just standing here. 
get quite a good view, I think. There we go. So, I think that's another power station off in the distance, right over there. I, I can't show you any more than that, unfortunately. So, we will climb back over here and make our way down to Andy. What an amazing place this is. Shame I can't just jump in that lift, really, innit? Right, so finally, after 18 floors, I counted them, I caught up with these two. Now, I am a bit concerned because there's big windows down here. Does it mean I'm going to have to turn the torch off? We'll get a little bit further up and then I will. What is that? Some weird structures. Right, I know this is going to be really grainy footage, the dust everywhere. It's going to be really bad, but look at it down there. That's absolutely crazy. Uh, fuck it. If they see us now, it's too late. We've been in here absolutely ages. Look at all this. Look at all these on here. Control select test. It's still got keys in it and everything. They all have. Absolutely mental, this. just a mass of pipes and all sorts down there. What is that? It's all right, beast. Turbine number one. Oh, is it? Yeah. Turbine for water. Power. Yeah, I know, but is it? Oh, it's, it's not water powered, is it? I'm being thick. Turbine. A uh, toilet, maybe? Another vice. Why do they need so many vices? Kind of like being in Miami, innit? <laughs> well, you're a man of many vices, aren't you? Yeah. I think I was above here. Because I saw all these big fuck off pipes. Although I'm guessing there's more than these. Yeah. What is that lot down there? This place is massive. I don't think oh. <laughs> what you stood in there. Oh, dead pigeon. Right, crunchy pigeon. Beautiful. Oh, look at this, though. It makes me wonder what bits my dad went in. If he was in this building or if he was in one of the others. All of them have got the keys in, look. I thought it might just be that lot. Yeah. It's a bit naughty, isn't it? It's just, you just walk around this place and it's like there's loads of nooks and crannies and bits and bobs of things you wouldn't notice unless you sort of really looked. I'm guessing this is like electric terminals of some sort. Wind box protection activated. What the fuck does that mean? Fuse board. So yeah, I'm guessing that's what all this lot is like. It's huge. I don't know if I can get out of this door. Let's give it a try. Yes, yes I can. Just more and more of these. Mental. Hasty retreat. I'm being a bit risky doing it, aren't you, to be fair? Anybody looking in this direction will see us. Are you having a piss? You dirty bastard. <laughs> oh, I have. I pissed from a lot higher than this. Right, I better turn it back off in a minute. Surely we're going to get spotted if I'm not careful. Everything's so fucking slippy. He said that and I almost fell. Yeah. Right. So, I've made my way back out with Andy and Grant. We've got to the back fence. The way that we managed to get in that almost killed me. I can't do it. My body will not let me get over that fence. I've tried and I've tried. 
and it just hurts so much. So I'm now gonna have to do something that I've never done before, which is go and find the security and hand myself in, which is gonna be interesting to say the least. So they've gone, they've left me. I've told them to leave me though, so they're not being dickheads or anything. But yeah, let's do this. Let's go and find them and see what happens. Bit, bit worried. I hope I don't get a kick in with these ribs. I don't think I will. I'm just more worried about them ringing police. It's a bit of a, an odd place, isn't it, to get caught. Right, I'll see you soon. So I'm hoping when I get a bit further down here, some security van comes razzing round and apprehends me. Otherwise, I'm going to be stuck in here all bloody night. Where is it? I know for a fact there's that alarm. Oh, I think, so you can't see this, the tower's just there. I might be able to light him up and show you this time because I've not been able to previously. But I'm heading straight for where the security should be. I just hope this doesn't result with me spending a night in the cells with broken ribs and big bad bar Barry booming me. It's gonna hurt that. Get ready. Here it is. This is the sensor. I'm sure it is. I'm sure this is the one that we're going off earlier on. It'll all light up if it is. And it'll shout at me. But it might not be pointing this direction. There we go. There they are. Evening, fellas. Hi. Hiya. All right, pal. Here he is, look. The broken ninja. <laughs> what? Well, we, we got a phone call for a taxi. Are we going to be on YouTube? <laughs> Were it you that caught Urban Lad and fucking Taffy? Yeah. Big yeah. Bloke, big fat bloke. <laughs> at least we got further than them. <laughs> at least, at least we got further than them. Yeah. Well, we spotted you. Yeah. Yeah. We went on police to come in. <laughs> they're decommissioning it. They're demolishing it. So nothing is safe. And that fenced area in that area we're in inside the precip's area. All that's there because the roof's collapsing, and with this kind of wind, it increases tenfold and it can rip you too. Yeah, you know well, there's little pieces just dropping off, and you don't even see it coming. We'll make sure we uh, warm people off coming anyway. Right. right, I'm home. Me and Andy have totally forgotten to do the outro. It's because we're both exhausted. It's been what a night it's been. It really, really has. I'm not going to go on too much because I just want to get in bath. And go to sleep. Look at my lips. I got stuck with teeth and everything. Filthy. So, it's been amazing. It's really, really been good. I want to say a couple of thank yous. First of all, is Andy just for being amazing as usual, helping me out because of my broken ribs. It's been horrible getting in. And also to Grant. Grant fashioned us a. Um, rope ladder to get over a 10 foot fence in about 10 seconds flat so I will leave a link to his channel down below please check him out go and subscribe to him he may be a massive bastard but and that's in the literal sense he's huge but give him give him some love go on across and say uh, hi to him and that's about it really a bit of a crap ending to a video purely because uh, I'm uh, I'm laid on my bed, filthy, waiting for the bath to run. But it is what it is. So thank you very much. Make sure you support the charity race. It's coming up soon. And we'll see you at VidCon next week. See you later. Bye-bye.